Good morning, YouTubers. It's Jim in Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, summer's coming and it's going to get hot. So you need some kind of a plan for so you don't kill everything inside your aquaponics setup. So anyhow, I thought I'd talk for a minute about ways to keep the heat down, uh, or that I use at least. Uh, to start with, if you haven't built your setup yet, you have to decide uh, how many windows and where you want them uh, to do what you want to do. My uh, aquaponics, uh, whatever you call it, shed or greenhouse, is a 50-50. So everything you see that has siding on it is insulated and it has a roof just like a regular shed. The same with the walls and all. So the weather that I'm trying to keep out, whether it be hot or cold, is worse on the, the uh, polycarbonate side. So anyhow, you can do that or you can have a full-on greenhouse, but if you do, just keep in mind that it's going to be harder to keep hot and it's going to be harder to keep cold. So that being said, uh, let's go on to some things you can do to cool it off. The, the first thing is uh, shade cloth. So uh, we have on cables uh, a 60% shade cloth. It covers the roof on either side like that. And that's what that, well, that's the way we run I run typically most of the time in the summertime. Uh, if it gets really, really hot, we'll say in the 90s or more, particularly in the afternoon, I will run a 90% uh, shade cloud this way. And then another one, of course, over there. That's kind of a desperation thing. Doesn't get that hot here too much. We are in the Willamette Valley in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, it, it, the weather, it rains a lot here. So, uh, I also have another shade cloth that goes across the front and covers all the windows. There's 16 windows in this thing, but only about half of them face south, or two-thirds of them. This, the, uh... So anyhow, that's about it for shade cloth. Uh, the next thing that you can do is to put in one or more fans. Uh, these fans I have here are just straight old house fans. They do rotate, but I prefer to keep them aimed at the water and you get a uh, evaporative cooling effect off of the water and you gain a little bit from that. Uh, so we use either one or more of these. Then I have another uh, small fan up here that cools down the air pump and cools this little office area off. So, and finally, I have this exhaust fan. And what this is, is a uh, inline exhaust fan like you might put in an HVAC booster to give you more pressure in your house. It's, uh, it has a regular plug-in to the wall plug-in. It's, it's not super powerful. They're about 200 CFM. Uh, maybe twice what you would have in your bathroom. Uh, and if we take the hot air from, of course, as high as we could get it, I might go higher yet, but that's pretty good, and blow it out this window. And so uh, what happens is then you're drawing that much CFM in through whatever windows you have open, when hopefully cooler, and you've got a, a air movement going, which helps a lot. So anyhow, that's it for the... Uh, what I've got in the way of fans and uh, shade cloth. Now, what you need to know is if it's really hot outside, if it's 100 out there, it's going to be 100 in here. You know, no matter what you do without regular refrigeration cooling, you're not going to get it much cooler than the outside. So, again, it doesn't get that hot around here very often. Uh, so what do you do if it gets that hot? You know, how do you keep your fish from dying? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, the first thing is you need lots and lots of circulation. 
So we got uh, the pumps are off right now because we're filming, but we're up to 3,000 gallons an hour. Uh, even figuring head problems about uh, close to 2,000 gallons an hour, which means we turn all of our fish tanks over about three times an hour. Uh, on top of that, our fish are, are not crowded in there very much. We have we're well under crowded. I prefer not to go over 20 gallons per fish or under that rather. So uh, those two things we have going for us. So and the last thing, which is the tip of the day, and it is what will keep your fish alive. Well, before I get to the last thing, let me say one more thing is choose fish that are capable of living in high temperatures. We uh, prefer sunfish and I have a brown bullhead that's also uh, extremely well suited to living almost anywhere. You'll find them in every ditch in the whole country. Um, so that's it. So back to the tip of the day, and the tip of the day is air. If you oxidate your water, you can get away with having it much, much higher than it ought to be and still have your fish okay. So every, uh, every tank has air filter with air stones. We're running a whole lot more air than we probably need to, but that's one of the reasons why. Uh, even the little tank over here has got air going in two places. And, and there's an air stump in the sump also. So that is the tip of the day. Uh, if you're going to overheat your water, make sure you've got lots of circulation and air. We'll see you next time.